If you are feeling suicidal, you might be scared, lost or confused by these feelings and find them overwhelming. You might be feeling hopelessness, tearful, numb in unbearable pain, useless, cut off or that the world would be better off without you. You might be experiencing poor sleep a lack of self-care or a change in appetite, self-loathing, self-harm and avoiding others. Many people feel like this and you are not alone. Suicidal thoughts aren't permanent. Things can improve. You can find your motivation to live again by trying to reach out and we can help you. We are here to help you, just as we have helped others like you. I was asked to go into mine just before the pandemic as I attempted suicide and I was referred by my GP. I was in desperation. My life was slipping away from me. I had to do something to be with others who may also be struggling, but also to be in a safe environment. I was nervous to begin with as I didn't know what to expect. When I arrived, I was met at the door by one of the volunteers who showed me into the room. Everyone was really welcoming and friendly. I find the group very welcoming and I'm very comfortable with the people who attend the group. It's a very warm atmosphere. When I'm sitting and chatting, it's very close. You can talk about anything, which I think is great. It's a feeling of tension where you're not in this rat race competitive accumulative system that we're all living in all the time you're just with a group of guys who are like you they've been through some dark times like yourself and you're kind of all in there together just supporting each other the group makes me feel like i'm part of something and they lift my mood when it's down they just make me feel as though I am human and normal. The group has impacted my life positively to the extent that the group has been my second home. It is a word of, that makes me keep going as a single mother and it puts a smile on my face. To keep going is joyful. It's a perfect and friendly environment for us asylum seekers that are alone with no friends or someone to be having nice moment with. So I think this really suits me and we are able to chat with the new people and have coffee. I'm a little bit isolated in my life at the minute. Uh, I'm not working, so really it was just to fill some time in when I came down. A friend of mine told me about it. I thought I'd come down and see what it's like. And since then I've joined two or three groups down here. I think there's a great bunch of people who we'll have a good laugh. People look after each other and it's just fantastic. I've been coming to the group since October last year. I joined mine through my community psychiatric nurse. The group is understanding, supportive and friendly. People know how you feel without having to tell them or say anything. It makes me feel secure. It's friendly and like-minded people that keep me coming back. I have made lots of new friends. All the groups are so inspirational. It's taking me out of the darkness into hope and light. We encourage each other and support each other. It makes us feel welcome because everybody asks how you are, how things are going. It's a change from like your family and friends asking how you are. It's a different sort of like group in your life. Let's get through these next five minutes by talking to someone. Breathe in and out slowly. Exercise. Listen to soothing music. Let yourself cry or sleep. If you need help, reach out.